lovely, beautiful soul. Welcome to you guys' monthly pick a card where we are going to take a look at the month of February. What can you expect when it comes to the month of February? Now, if you were looking at this and it's not the month of February, you can yet um, get the message, my love. So there is a reason you felt drawn to this video. So just go ahead. It's then for you timeless. Okay, my love. That means that let me introduce you. Let, let me introduce myself to you guys. <laughs> my name is Noraima from the Phoenix Star. If you are new to the channel, hi, welcome. I'm thankful you found me. If you like the vibration, don't forget then to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And if you are already part of the fam, the growing tribe, hey, love. Thankful that you're back again, fam. So yeah, we are going to take a look at the month of February, y'all. We are already there. Now, I already have done your reading, so I mean, just hang, just chill, just laugh, just cry, just learn and stuff with me. <laughs> Let's go in because I did not expect this month to kind of like this monthly reading to be so long so let's hang let's chill y'all let's get the message you need to know you have four piles to choose from for the first pile you have the rhino spirit and it says overcome any obstacles and for the second pile you have the dolphin spirit this and that are true and then for the third pal you have the antelope spirit life is speeding up and then for the fourth pal you have the crow spirit co-create with spirit now i will give you guys 30 seconds to breathe in breathe out choose your pal you will hear three high pitch notes just to oomph you up and i will see the pal or the pals that you have chosen i will zoom in so you can focus now on your card and I'll see you at, as I said, the power of pals that you have chosen. So, my lovely, beautiful Pau One, you guys have chosen the Rhino Spirit, Overcome Any Obstacle, as your um, card. Uh, this is career, this is love, and these we will take a look at later. But first, let's take a look at the energy and the weeks of the month February for you. Um, you start with a Ten of Wands together with the nine of pentacles and then you also have i will not take this in reverse the knight of cups as your cards and then you have semi square tension together with blossoming together with magic, uh, magician in the mirror and as you already know overcome any obstacles so my lovely beautiful power one when it comes to the month of february february Fe wow what is it <laughs> when it comes to the month of february there is something very beautiful that is happening for you guys but it doesn't come as easy as you want it to be you know it's kind of like a change that needs to happen is what i'm getting that is now the time that it must happen there is no there is no uh, what i'm getting is really like there is no changing about this this is it this is it the only thing is you can never put a day, a time on 
when the universe, the creator of all, all, all creator, God, for some of you, decide this is it. This is the day. You cannot point, point, pin it kind of a way. And when the day come, you kind of like because do you know what i'm getting in my image like um it's a very weird image but listen um the moment of no turning back have you ever kind of like did something and you got caught and you cannot change it that this is it this is the moment that you are being revealed you know who you really are or the moment that you have made a wrong decision and your car goes out of control this is it this is the moment what will happen is out of your control or the moment that it's like okay um you come to a point of oh my god take over the wheel like the car there is something of a realization of people are going to see who you really are People are going to understand, you are going to understand, oh my God, this is it. Everything is changing. I, I am not, I am not anymore the image. I am my image kind of a situation. There is some kind of a reveal. And in that moment, it's like life is flashing by is what I'm getting. And you will think of everybody that you might think you are disappointing. You might think you are leaving behind. You might think that, oh my God, um, what will happen to that person? There is some kind of a, it's time. And, but what about them? There is no what about them. This is you. You have done the work. You have elevated yourself. You have worked on yourself. You have trying to become and, and look at all this information like the Ten of Wands, all the work that you have done. You have done it. So now you are overcoming all of that. The only thing is, is this part. Because there is some kind of a tension that is happening because we all know if you are comfortable in a place and everything goes according to how it should go. And you are doing something that you're, that other people might be like, oh, no, 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 you are rocking the boat. That's uncomfortable for them. And here is where you need to come to realize I have outgrown the shoe. I need to go buy myself a new one. I have to jump, leap. Become who I really am. Getting out of my comfortable zone. That's the same as square. But it doesn't go without tension. It doesn't go without friction. It doesn't go without fear. Because that's the thing. The negative, the low energy, devil, ego is something that holds us accountable by be like, you don't want to do that. You don't know how it's going to end. Like putting fear in our mind, in our spirit and be like, oh my God, no, 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 no. Do not rock the boat. What if people judge you for what you do? Or what if this, this, that? And here's the thing. This is what you have created, what you have manifested. And now it's here. It's time for you to embrace it. It's blooming. It's great. It's beautiful. But if you kind of like fear it and be like, okay, I'm not going to do it. That is also possible. Some people decide to not do it. There are, let me tell, give you something. Like the people that look at this have chosen power one there may be let's just say let's let's act bougie and say thousand people okay from the thousand acting bougie <laughs> from the thousand maybe hundred of them will only do this maybe maybe just ten percent and the other one are working slowly and surely to go to it but maybe it's not the time for them to go maybe the fear is holding them 
You know, it depends where you are at in this situation. But whatever, wherever you are at, you are overcoming any obstacles. And not only that, for some of you, if you are single, I don't know, but there is some offer coming in. And I don't know if this is a love offer, a business offer, a friendship offer, but it's something of, let me give you something new. You know, and this new is actually bringing some kind of a, because this is 10 of wands, it's giving me flowers. And this is the um, the blossoming, the flower moon is when the flowers are coming out of the ground and everything is flourishing kind of a situation. So it's giving me like you are going to get your roses looking at how this is also the 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 overcome any obstacles is having kind of a like a whole um how do you call that in in english yeah like you have that whole uh, ring when you are a winner they will put it around your neck kind of a situation or a hawaii situation like you will get your flowers it's time for you to get your flowers after everything you've been through looking at the lotus it's time for you to bloom to show yourself you know so be going into your full power but that is only if you kind of like are ready for it and i do think there is a message coming for some of you this month in the month of february there's a message coming and this message is something lovely caring Ooh, Queen of Swords, my beach. I will not take this one. But it, the message can be from a, a Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini person. A person that is really in her power or his power. No gender specific. He, she, they eat. It's, um, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. You will not see all of this person is what I'm getting. But the idea, I do think some of you has a great idea. This is something that you have gotten from spirit, you know, an in enlightenment. Like, oh, I should go with that idea. Go with that idea is what I'm getting. Go with that idea. People will like and love that idea is what I'm getting. So let's take a look. Let's see for the weeks. What can you expect? Let's take a look at the first week, the second week, the third and the fourth. Let's see. What can you expect? That's the first. That's the second. Look at that. Yeah, that's the third. Oh, my God. And I saw that one also. Let's see for the fourth one. What can you expect? I too hope you guys are ready for this. You know why you have the black moon, uh, the black moon underneath the deck, meaning the end, the end of this podium that you are at. It's time for you to go to a new one. It's the end to. I do think this is the end of you being in a chapter, you being in a box, you being unknown, you being. In, in thinking of other people instead of you kind of a situation. You kind of like adapting because you don't want to like um, fear other people. I know I don't know how to explain this, but I really see like there is a change within you guys because of all of this. Now, for the first week, you have the emperor. So here is where you guys are going to create something. You are going to take action. The first week is very action orientated. Um, to try to manifest, create something out of nothing. Going for an idea. Um, putting some blood, sweat and tears into it. Looking at the ten of wands. It's going to be something that you. it's like you are almost there. So it's, it would be a waste of time to give up. Do you know what I'm getting now with this emperor? I don't know why this is. This feeling is giving me... A, a kind of a thrilling in my heart. I don't know how to explain it, but but like you are busted. That kind of energy is what I'm getting. Like, for example, for example, like you might have created a plan. You might have done it. And now you are taking action because I'm seeing it with the emperor like this. Like you are sneaking into the night with your soldiers into a different, gosh, please do not, 
<laughs> Please, God, do not put that one like, uh, like a war. Listen, listen, we are not taking that energy. If it is like that, it is like that, honey. Sometimes I do my readings and then I see things happening in the world. I'll be like, damn, I should have known. <laughs> but guess what? Guess what? We are scripting that because we are talking about you. But the image that I'm getting is the energy that I'm getting, okay? Like, you know, when you have, have done your plan, you and your soldier are sneaking into a land that is not yours. It's somebody else's. And it's like you are walking, sneaking in, and then the opposite person, you are coming a, suddenly face to face to one soldier of the opposite side. And it's like, but one? And you'll be like, oh, well, damn. Then there ain't no turning back. We have to now, it, it, now is the time. You have to take action. And it's, and it's, you will feel a kind of a, as if, you know, it, because I'm really getting that in my heart, as if I'm, I'm busted in kind of a situation where it's like, oh my God. Now is the time. It's the day. You can it's you cannot run back. You can, but then it's like, why why did you why did you did all of that to come at this point to now go back? It would be a waste of time. So it's like, okay, it's forward from now on. <laughs> it's forward. Let's go. Let's continue. This is it. This is the moment that we declare it has begun. It has begun. And I do not want to say what has begun because it can be different for everybody. But it's that time in the first week. So in the second week, you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Here is where you might doubt coming or going, doing or not. Because it's giving me, um, it's giving me, um, you know, because the Ace of Pentacles, pentacles you need to um, get out of your comfortable zone it takes courage and being in reverse you are taking that courage it's like okay i'm a go i'm a plan that seed but do not expect everything to come to you at this moment do do not do it so you will get out of your comfortable zone because you already get but you were busted in the first week so you have to now be who you are kind of a situation the second week is what i'm getting so it's kind of like i'm gonna claim who i am nine of pentacles fruitful abundance i will claim it you know um it's 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 like that but it's um it's given me that there is lots of wanting. It's given me a heart chakra once again. Like you might fear this situation though, because it's like, oh, but, but you know, you cannot take back what you have done. You cannot take it back kind of a way. You are now being seen as this person, you know, you, you, Okay, this, why am I getting this kind of a scary images? Like, for example, you know, when you are in a fight, please, if you guys are in a fight, don't fight with your hands, okay, with your hands, or do not fight at all, you know, but you know, sometimes you will take a quick action by doing something stupid with a material thing, and once you like, for example, because I'm getting now when you have to pull the trigger kind of a situation, you cannot be like, okay, jokes, let me grab the bullet. It's done. No, it's out of your control. The bullet is out of your control. It's already out. You cannot reverse the bullet back in. So that kind of a energy is what I'm getting. I finally have got it. I finally have got a kind of a metaphor so you guys can understand the energy that I'm getting. Like you have pulled the trigger. There ain't no, you cannot tell the bullet, stop, drop, roll. No, it won't do that. It's out of your control. And that's the thing here that you have to claim it now. You have to claim it that you have become... Oh, mama, mama, I shut a man down. <laughs> kind of a situation. <laughs> you know, if wanted or unwanted, you have to claim it now. And now I'm saying like um, that, but it can be that you be like at your job. 
be like, you know what? I'm a go. I'm, 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 I'm a leave. I quit. And down walking out of your, your, out of your job, you come to realize what the F, how can I turn that? I say those words loud and clear. I even announce it at, at everything. I have even like press the button and delete everybody's email. Like, how can I, I cannot go back. You know, it's like that. There is something happening where you cannot go back. You are doing something where you can kind of like not say that is why you guys need to be careful because this energy is great if it is in a good energy, in a good vibration. But if you are in a low vibration and you take low energy, low action, whew, you will be sorry. You will be sorry because this is kind of a, a stamp on this is who you are now. A winner. A content creator. A successful business owner. A great mother. A great father. A great niece. A great uncle. A great whatever aunt. Or the thief. The murderer. The, 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 the stupid person that takes stupid action, you know, the person that has throw his life away, but can, can get it back. <laughs> Listen, you can always get it back, but then you kind of have to like, okay, change things up. So it depends which energy you get, which energy you take. And let me tell you, this energy is an energy that is sneaking upon you. It's sneaking upon you. It's just happening. You didn't supposed to do that, but you did it kind of a situation. So in the third week, you have a four of wands. For some of you, a celebration, a marriage. Uh, this energy is great, y'all. Like I, I scared you guys, <laughs> but really I continue saying if it, if it is a negative energy, then you are, you are <laughs> watch out. But in a good energy, marriage, celebration, happiness, foundation, buying a house, maybe you sign a contract here because the emperor is also somebody that builds foundation. Maybe you sign a contract and here you get the keys kind of a situation. Do you have the money to move? Maybe not. Maybe so. I don't know, but it's happening <laughs> kind of a way. So in the fourth week, you have the three of wands. People are coming towards you. People are coming towards you. People are actually not expecting you you but you are expecting them like it's it's a surprise for them also like that that is like it, it for some of you in the in the third week it might be that you are going to um be you are going to be maybe with a maybe looking at the knight of cups also like it for some of you it might be that in the third week you are going to be introduced to somebody and that some that somebody plays a big role both of you did not expect that person but it seems like both of you have the same person uh that you guys know like you for example, your mother introduced you to a person that you you didn't know and that person didn't know you, but your mother knows both of you. Kind of a situation. You know, um, in that way, like there is an introduction happening for you guys in the third and the fourth week. And the other people coming in the fourth week, um, looking at the three of wands, kind of not know that you exist. Or not know that you are doing what you are doing. Especially if you look at this situation right here. If you guys are an entrepreneur doing your own thing. You know what you are doing. But other people that are now coming in and seeing what you are doing don't know. Didn't know like, oh, Pawan, you do this? And it's like, yes. Yes, kind of a situation. As I said, it's like surprise this is it this is the moment d-day now get to know me kind of a situation so when it comes to the career career 
pension, um, entrepreneurs, that energy of you doing you what you want to do in life, that's this. So you have Imum Kuli, a root, together with a movement. Hey, things are looking good for you guys. And then you also have the seven of cups in reverse. The choice has already been made y'all. Yeah. Looking at this situation right here when it comes to your career, pension, uh, entrepreneurship, whatever, side job, it's gonna be great. There is some kind of a choice you are making and that choice is sets foundation because the Imum Koli, it's giving me the four of wands also. It's kind of like, this is it. This is where I will plant my roots. And once again, Imum Koli is also, uh, your fourth house is the mother. So maybe really for some of you, it has to do with a mother. Your mother might advise you something or um, your mother energy or the moon. The moon will not be in cancer. The moon, you, oh, that's Dutch. I want to say that. I want to say it in Dutch, yeah. Like the moon. Let's see. Yes, if you look at the Vedic. Let me, let me, let me check. If you look at the Vedic. If you look at the Vedic, the 5th of February, we have a full moon in Cancer. So that might be a very big thing for you guys. That you will have with the full moon, there is something happening where... It will make everything move faster, news coming to you faster when it comes to your career or with your uh, pension or with your um, entrepreneurship. The choice is made. You, are, you have made a choice. That idea that you have, it's like, okay, I'm going to go do it. I'm going to go do it. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, like, it will be beautiful with a full moon. This upcoming full moon on the 5th of uh, February. It will be beautiful. You know, so set intention to release the old you with this full moon. Because it's given me that. That what I have been saying in the beginning. Like who you used to be. Going back to the black, uh, moon, uh, black moon. And then 8 of wands underneath it. Together with the ace of swords. Honey, we can continue. So really listen. When it comes to the full moon, say goodbye to who you thought you were. Because there is a new you being born. Okay? When it comes to your career. And then when it comes to love, if you are in a relationship looking, searching, wondering, uh, that part, love, you have the fifth house, passion. Let's see. Together with sweetness. <laughs> let you go i don't know why, but i'm i'm suddenly heard because i said sweetness and then suddenly i heard that song sweet from my sweet sugar for my honey na 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 i don't know how that song goes but it's a very old song and then you have do you guys want to know something funny Every time if I'm uh, filming, I look out of the windows and I come to realize every time when I'm filming, looking at that part, there are always crows. Now it's the crow family, you know, those um, that you have crows and you have um, raven and the other one. It's a family of crow. I don't know how it calls, but they are always sitting there now that i talk about them they leave <laughs> you know they are sitting there there are more because i see other birds also it's like they are sitting there looking at me i'll be like i know mm -hmm. because animals they can be you can like kind of okay let's go back to you okay so then you have the hangman for um love okay i don't know why suddenly i had to explain to you that that there are birds looking at me <laughs> Because I felt them looking at me. I was like, okay, listen, I often see you guys, but this time you guys are really looking at me. <laughs> kind of a situation. So back to you. Um, for the 
for love beautiful beautiful you will get clarity when it comes to love if it is you knowing what you want when it comes to love some of you will get to figure out that you are pregnant you know it's a fifth house is the house of children it's the house of passion of doing the deed to get children so some of you might feel a little bit of kind of a high on the energy of lust and passion and oh feeling good be like yes Yes, I feel it. Kind of a situation that can also be. Um, there might be clarity coming for if you have a conversation, if you are in contact with somebody, that person might um, kind of like letting you mo letting you know more. But I really feel this more being your personal energy that's like, I am me. I love where I'm at right now in life. I love love at this moment. And if you love love and you want love or you are in love, show it. Because you are going to understand that you are feeling that way. It's within you. And you know, sometimes you feel that way and then you have a partner and that partner is kind of like, you, it, it, it's, it's at that moment that will you enjoy me with this lovely feeling or will you enjoy them in a negative feeling depending where they are at in love you know so for example maybe he she they it comes home and be like okay i really had a bad day and you were totally in your own vibe like mm, honey today's the day i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna you know and they come they come at home and they don't feel like it now what you're gonna do some <laughs> I need to stop. I need to stop. <laughs> but you know what I meant with that one. <laughs> Let me know. If you know what that means, put up some bunny, y'all. If you know what I mean with that, put the bunny ears up. <laughs> put some bunny up. Then you know <laughs> what I meant to say with that. But back to you, like <laughs> you're doing it single, <laughs> independent, you know. But don't, what I'm trying to say is like, you might feel this way. And not everybody might feel this way. So really enjoy it love it embrace it because you might influence them to also meet you at that level where you don't need to use the <laughs> kind of situation let's go for some tears because i'm doing it uh, very long you're reading this time so you have broken ring uh, parting of the ways in either romance or business here is where i'm telling you guys watch out watch out because there is definitely an ending i have been telling you because of what's underneath the deck i have been telling you because of the ten of wands i have been telling you because of the energy that i said that you will kind of like pull the trigger on something this month what that something is might be something to do with romance, might be something to do with business, but there is an independent happening for you guys, okay? And then you also have a vase, secret admirer, and then you also have fox, scrutinous and resourcefulness, um, especially in business. So think like a fox, stay on your feet, be wise, be smart. That's what this card is saying. And then you also have a scale. Oh, this is the first time getting this one. Keep your life in balance. Definitely. For this week, uh, for this month, definitely keep your life in balance. Why? First of all, because Venus is in Aquarius. <laughs> Um, not only that, not only that, no, 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 it's not that, but uh, that's what I'm getting, like really, uh, because there is a change happening, and if you don't know who you are, honey, it seems like they have called the whole family now to go sit on that tree and be like, looking at me, you guys are going to have lots of people looking at you, it's very obvious that you guys are looking at me, I know you guys know, but... <laughs> 
Let's continue with you guys. Like really, you will have lots of eyes looking at you. You are doing what you are doing, looking at the three of wands also. But people are looking. You have no idea, okay? You have no idea. And look at the Newmans. I'm working with the Newman tarot also. Look at the Newmans. The Newmans are the animals, the, the energy of the world. You, you know, we used to connect with Newmans like this, that they are looking at me. I know the message within it. It can be good, it can be bad, depending, but I don't feel a negative energy from them. You know, um, but, but, no negative energy. But watch the Newman of the world is what I'm getting. Oh, and back to the skills. Like, really, um, watch your dog. Maybe your dog is doing something stranger. Maybe maybe you walk in nature and suddenly a cat approaches you. There is something of look at definitely a cat. <laughs> look at um, look at the numens in in your life. Like there is something of the animals are uh, connecting with you. Now I always have that, but there is something of the animals are connecting with you, and it's a great energy, a good energy. So yeah. Um, but keep your life in balance is talking about because you are going from that to new. You can feel it looking at the uh, tension, the same square and stuff. You can feel it where you'll be like, nope, going back to your old box, putting back on that old shoe that doesn't fit you anymore. But you'll be like, I'll be there. No, it's scary. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know what's happening. As I said, you cannot demand the bullet to come back. So it's done. Just keep things in balance. Go slow and steady forward. Now, you also have a victory in some endeavors. Yes. Like, I'm telling you guys, this energy is great. This energy is great. But fear is what's kind of like messing it up for you. And then you have dogs getting together with friends. Guess what? And some of them are our nature's friend, you know, like you'd be like, I don't have friends. Guess what? It can also be nature's friends. And then the month of November plays a big role. So maybe you have done something in the month of November or whatever action you take now can have something to do or a result in the month of November. That being said, my lovely, beautiful pal one, I do hope I could have helped you guys. Don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in another reading of mine. Bye bye. So, my lovely, beautiful pal two, you guys have chosen the dolphin spirit. Uh, this and that are true as your uh, card. Let's take a look. Um, this is the career, pension, business, whatever have you. And this is love. We will take a look later for those. But first, let's take a look at the, your energy for this um month and also the weeks you know every week we will take a look at it later on i will not take these in reverse you have the ace of cups the moon now i'm gonna have to tell you guys something justice i may have to tell you something because while i was shuffling i was grabbing the tea leaf um, and with a tea leaf, suddenly the whole stack of tea leaf just flipped out of my hand and was on the floor. And I was like, oh my God. And I had to grab all of that. So then I grabbed a, a, a mount and that one flipped out of my hand. So I was like, okay, there is something of an energy coming and it's giving... Um, the energy of you cannot, um, it is something that you cannot imagine, the amount that is coming your way, that kind of energy. And looking at this, it's a surprise. It's just happening to you guys. And I must say, Pa One also had that kind of energy. And then you have Taurus, Cultivate, together with Power. 
and then you also have financial constraints and together with the dolphin spirit as your card um the number two is very important look at this is two this is number 20 16 13 um, 11 18 and one so let's take a look let's see for you guys my lovely beautiful pal two there is something lovely happening for some of you this is love okay i'm not gonna do as if i'm blind i don't see it because it's gonna happen surprisingly to you guys some of you are already friends with this person or this situation um i do think look at the power there is some kind of an energy in the month of february for everybody that's like I know if you look at Vedic astrology, then you know, looking at you have justice together with Taurus. So it's Venus. Venus is now going, when I'm filming this, Venus is going into Aquarius and it's meeting the planet Saturn. And those two are besties, I always say. <laughs> those two like each other, yeah. Those two like each other and it's like, okay. Whatever you want, whatever you need, everything you want now, baby, I can do it. And you know the rest, okay? So, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. You'll be like, no, Raima, please don't. Please don't. I know, but it just sneaked up on me, y'all. It just, it's a good energy, okay? It's an energy. <laughs> You'll be like, we don't want to hear that. But it's a good thing because everything you want, you can have. And it's going to be kind of like for a long term. Because Saturn loves longevity. And Venus loves abundance and fruitfulness. And let it be that you have both. Not Saturn, but I'm talking about Venus. Taurus and Libra. Partnership, money, love, beauty, delicious food, delicious smells, delicious things, delicious energy. Honey, who is ruling me? Who is ruling me? Venus. Venus. Love. You know, looking at the moon, um, it is um in in tarot it's pisces you know but but uh, astrology wise is cancerian but this talks about the pisces <laughs> so it's giving me that but there is something of you embracing your and i do think it's a feminine power embracing a feminine power even though you are a masculine if you want that if you want it you must be in a feminine energy of receiving so in a if you be like no i'm i'm a man <laughs> kind of a situation how do you mean i have to embrace feminine energy honey that car that you want if you want it to come to you that is you being like i am okay of it coming to me instead of go get it y'all sometimes you need to be in the let it be let it come because i'm going to have something fruitful and it's gonna be un uh, like unexpected how do you say it you don't expect it y'all you don't expect it looking at the at the moon and funny thing is both of them it's like having a dress the justice card is also kind of like covering up something with their dress and this one is not even looking at it and the justice card be like it's time yeah it's time for you to be surprised so and this situation right here is lovely it's fruitful it's abundant looking at the ace of cups it's a for some of you new love or you becoming in your power in your strength but whatever that it is i do think that you guys looking at the financial constraint you are going to be surprised materialistically uh, with things that you did not know it's like somebody's going to see your word or it can be spiritual physically emotionally uh, being seen worthy because you think you don't have it but if you look at the closet or the case you know it has it it has documents it has golden coins so there is something that you think it is it isn't happening you are not even looking at it anymore and surprisingly it's gonna happen it's gonna happen let's take a look at um 
uh, the weeks for you guys let's see for the first the second the third and the fourth week what can you expect that's the first i will take these two as the first that's the first now for the second that's the second this is the third that's the fourth underneath the deck you have the world new beginnings new beginnings so for um, your weeks you have the ten of swords together with the ten of wands honey definitely the end the world is also saying that honey listen you are not the only one <laughs> there is it seems like it's in the energy of the month of february um that we are closing things off uh we are yes we are closing things off oh happy lunar new year for people that looks at the lunar uh um system happy lunar new year we had that with the new moon um in january but back to you because i'm getting off track um there is something new it, it is it was also like that for power power one so i do think it's kind of like a collective thing that everybody is kind of like ending with things that it's kind of like bothering them looking at you in the first week honey you will find betrayal People, you will see the people that have betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. Not only that, the people that have left you with lots of obstacles, things or situation. Or you yourself that have left, uh, that have carried lots of burdens. And now you come to see like, okay, you, you kind of like, because this one starts with one want. And then it's this, this person is like covered within it. Like you don't have it in hand anymore kind of a situation. So in the, in the first week, there is definitely an ending for you guys, my love. That, that, that is for sure. There is definitely an ending and you don't have it in hand and it's just going to happen and it needs to happen. Um, you are going to see who is with you and who not because looking at the ten of wands you are so busy in your own work maybe that you kind of like not paying attention because he or she cannot see because of all the things that she's she's having but this one is like ah i see it now kind of energy so what should you will have clarity looking at the moon and justice card there will come clarity for you guys in the month of february especially in the first week where you what you didn't see what you didn't know will now become so clear as daylight and you have to then start new begin fresh kind of a way and it might as well be that a chapter of your life is ending looking at the world underneath the deck also it's ending a chapter and starting new so in the second week you have the emperor in reverse this emperor is the second time that i'm seeing not mad at it but you know i'm not but um yeah some of you might not want this new beginning the, the, the um my phone y'all I, I forgot to uh, put it off but yeah some of you might not want this new beginning looking at the emperor being in reverse it's kind of like you are being pushed to go out there looking at the second week especially because of the first week so this is kind of like okay i'm gonna go ahead and do it i do think you guys are in for a surprise that you did like this the first and the second week, it's giving me the energy of I did not know I needed it until I found myself there. Like sometimes we, because I'm getting like sometimes people take on a job and it's just so that they have an income. And then later they come to realize like that job is actually my thing, my dreams. This, this is where I need to be. So that is what this is giving me. Like 
you don't want things to end. You don't want to see like this. You didn't expect that this person or this situation will stab you in the back. But hey, guess what? Now, second week, I have to get out there because hey, otherwise I don't have the coin. I don't have the money to pay for my things or to do what I need to do. For some of you, it might be a father figure is also what I'm getting. Um, there is something with a mother and a father figure. Some of you maybe will go uh, divorce. Yeah. Yeah. This and that is true. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly quiet. But yeah, is 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 looking at the moon and just the card and the emperor. That's the father figure. So for some of you, it might be a divorce. It has to do with family. Looking at Taurus is the second house. Second house is your income, is your money, and is your close family. Meaning you, your children, and the dog, and your spouse kind of a situation. And if you don't have your children, then your house. You know, it's like that. Your close family. So for some of you, it might be to do with that. Hmm, we will see. Let's take a look at the third week. For the third week, you have the seven of pentacles. Well, here you are planting something new. You are busy taking care of something new. Or at something that you have already have planted. You know, you are you are putting your attention onto that situation instead of, you know staying focused on, on what you don't have hmm let's see for the fourth week you have the six of wands victory okay maybe you start wrong but it's going to go right <laughs> because of that it's going to go right it's going to be going to go fabulous because you do not give up looking at the third week you continue working on whatever is happening like that, as I said, you might go to a new job and it's not what you want, but you need to work with it. But it will bring you victory down the line on the fourth week of February. There is something of a celebration happening in the fourth week. It's a great celebration. So here, what, what I'm getting because of this situation right here is please do not give up. That's also the Ten of Wands. Please continue showing your power and move forward. Even sometimes if you don't feel like it, looking at the second week, you may not feel like it. You may come to realize like, damn, I did not expect it to be like this, you know? So continue moving forward. Now, this card is for the career, pension, side job, um, entrepreneurs. That is what we are going to take a look at. So for that, we have the 11th house community. Together with pain. And then you also have the emperor. And we have the emperor in reverse. For some of you, I'm sorry to bring the news, but there is something with your career that might end. But a friend might give you a great idea to apply somewhere and that can help you out. That is what I'm getting. The, 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 because this emperor is a reverse, but this emperor is upright. So for some of you, might the, 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 there might be um, online, you may have communication with people and they will, will help you out. Or you, or you need to watch out what you say to your friends and your community, what you say online. Okay, because the pain can start for some of you in the first week. And because of the first week, this emperor goes in reverse in the second week. And that can to do with something of online communication, friendship, uh, your, your, your community. You know, so really watch out for that. And for other people, it might be because of what isn't at the first week and the second week, you 
come to realize somebody can help you out, a community. Maybe you kind of like feel like, oh, nothing is happening. Nothing, you know, that is kind of like, oh, yet still I have to continue doing this. You know, then the ten of wands together with the pain, you know. And then down the line on the fourth week or going forward to the third week, somebody might help you out, a friend or a community. So it depends. I think both of the both of that energy is kind of like giving because it's giving what isn't will become. And watch out for your communication online, y'all. Watch out for that, how you communicate with people and stuff like that. You know, I often make lots of jokes with not not lots. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I make jokes with you guys and I'm like feeling very comfortable, very comfortable because I'm like, oh, that's my community. But not everybody is for you. Not everybody will get your jokes. Not everybody be like, oh, Noraima, yes, I really like your readings because you some serious, you some tough, you some funny, you some whatever. <laughs> I often get Um, people um, talking about my accent and I'll be like do I do I sound English then do I sound English like I'm from England or do I sound like no no chick you you're from Germany because I don't like German if you are from Germany I'm not here to push you but you guys accent when it comes to English is like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> And I'll be like, how will you guys hear? What kind of an accent do you hear? Let me know. Do you hear a German ex accent or an English? Because I prefer the English one. I, hello, mate. Kind of. <laughs> Instead of you telling me I'm like an Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Not You see, this is what I mean. In my mind, I was like, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Don't, okay, respectful. But what, you see, this is what I mean. I'm making jokes with you guys, but not everybody wants that. So I need to sometimes also watch out what I say and what I do, kind of a situation, but it's fun. Let me know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Just watch out what you say online. That's just important, okay? Um, we, we are all humans and you can have opinions, you can have a view. And the thing is, what you say today, <laughs> in 20 years down the line, or even 10 or 5, you might even change your mind and be like, no. Actually, my accent was kind of like a Caribbean girl because I'm a Caribbean girl, you know, so it, it can change, you know. So what I'm trying to say is watch out what you say online, because for some people, some people love to hold on to a type of idea of you. And that's the thing that I come to see in my community, in my family, in my friends, that you will outgrow some people because they are yet still holding on to a certain idea, a certain person of who you are that you are not anymore. Maybe that's the issue with your career also. Now, when it comes to love, single, ready to mingle, in relationship, looking, searching, that's what I mean when it comes to love. You have a Virgo digest, okay, together with um, confidence and intuition. Okay, something is asking for your confidence when it comes to, um, when it comes to love. And then you have uh, the Ace of Wands and Three of Wands, uh, Three of Pentacles. Honey, this, I don't know who's coming towards you when it comes to love or what is happening for you when it comes to love. But let me tell you something. It's hot. It's passionate. And I already have told Pawan also, they had also a situation. Now, I, I, I was making jokes with them also once again. But 
with you guys this is a collaboration honey somebody is coming somebody is ready to collaborate with you and this person when it comes to love they are very passionate about it and your intuition has already told you and this situation right here is asking of you to get out your comfortable zone have that confidence that you can handle this this might be that your lover might be like you you mm -hmm. I think we're ready for something new. And you be like, not today. Uh-uh, we did not put that in the contract. <laughs> or you be like, oh, I was waiting for you to say that. And you guys do some, some of passion working together with some, some people, you know. But there is some kind of a nurturing love you guys might even start a new do when it comes to love if you are single looking searching you might be like you know what i'm gonna watch what i eat i'm gonna work out to gain some confidence in yourself that can also be that you be like you know what i'm gonna put the love in myself taking care of myself work out for myself eat healthy for myself you know feeling good for myself and that will kind of like also work on the people uh you know that are coming in contact with you so for your tea leaves you have eagle Triumph over obstacles. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. Beautiful. So in the month of February, honey, you winning though. Even if sometimes things seem to surprise you, especially in the first and the second week. But as this card is saying, in the third and the fourth week, you winning. You winning, love. So this and that is true. First lost, <laughs> then win. And then I'm laughing, but but it's it's tough when you are in it, you know. So let's know our power and our strength and continue moving forward. So and know that you are going to win. So don't give up, okay? Then you have unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial change. Yes, yes, that's also the moon. That's also the power, knowing who you are. And then you have tortoise, slowly and surely getting ahead, definitely. And then you have grasshopper. This is very important. Situation in the balance that require careful handling. Now, here's the thing. Why do I say this is very important? Because these two go well in, well, this all goes well together. Like there is something happening for you guys the first and the second week where change is happening and you have to leap from one grass thingy to another grass so you have to kind of a focus but you don't have to go fast and quick take that action because you can make fast mistakes so do it do it slow be sure that's the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles isn't a fast situation it's slowly but surely trusting the process of i'm planting the seeds i'm taking care of it nurturing it and we will see what will come out of it kind of a situation that is the thing that you need to do because slow a uh, fast action will not do for you guys look at this beetle good fortune things looks good y'all together with club someone will try to make you do something against your will i do think for some of you this is when it comes to this part of the situation together with the first and the second week so you need to watch out show your power show who you are in a nice balanced way though you you know you you, you should not let them see you sweat that you like that's the confidence oh talking about someone will try to make you do something against your will if your partner or the person you are in contact with be like as i said honey i think it's time we try something new and comes knocking with another person and you be like i don't feel this passion tell them it's a great idea my love but you are missing another person because i don't see myself in this situation right here where where did you put my face because my face is out the door i did not know i needed it you know <laughs> if you if you be like no thank you i and what do i mean with that because some of y'all be like 
what are you talking about, Noraima? If your partner comes knocking and be like, I have a suggestion. What about a threesome? And you ask them, do you mean with my eyes? Do I want three bowls of eyes like that? Like I would like chocolate and pistach. Oh, a mint kind of a way. Do you mean that? You know, and they'll be like, no, I mean in the bedroom to spice things up, you know? And you'll be like, yes, that's a great idea. Do you mean two men? No, two women. Guess what? Guess what? Okay, well, that's a great idea. And with who are you going to do it? <laughs> and if you are especially not in it, be like, okay, because I will pack your stuff. I will call a hotel and you guys can meet there. And you can also live there. You know, sometimes you need to make things easy for them. Don't don't take things so difficult. You know? <laughs> make it simple. Like if you are not in it, you are not in it. Just stand up for yourself because some people are trying it. You know, then then you have I need in need of help, assistance and guidance. And if you are for it, do it, honey. I mean, if both of you are willing, I mean, I'm not judging. I'm not judging, you know? So, yeah. A uh, hand. In need of help, assistance, and guidance, just ask for help. And then you also have June. So, the month of June is very important for you guys. Um, the upcoming June. So, maybe the action you take now will have a great effect in the month of June, especially looking at the Seven of Pentacles. But there is something of the month of june so that being said my lovely beautiful pal too don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe and i will see you in another reading of mine bye bye oh and have fun this month bye bye So, my lovely beautiful pile three, you guys have chosen the antelope spirit. Life is speeding up as your um, card. This is career or um, entrepreneur or pension and this is love. But first, let's take a look at the energy of the month February for you. And also, what can you expect when it comes to the weeks of uh, February? So you start with judgment. I will not take these cards in reverse. Wait a minute. Honey, you're supposed to have two, uh, three of those. So I just stopped. You need more. <laughs> so like this. Yes. Um, so you also have the four of pentacles together with the king of swords. So it's like this. I don't know why, but it's not. It's it. I totally forgot. So then you also have patience together with caring connections together with Aries act and then the antelope spirit okay as Aries is saying things are you need to take action and as the card that you felt drawn to like because of your action things will speed up but um looking at the patience card is giving me um it might look as if nothing is happening but something is happening in the month of Febru february for you guys it will happen but you need to kind of like let go maybe you are holding on too tight on it must be like this or it must happen like this and you guys your spiritual team is saying the moment you let go it can actually and only look at the bigger picture because that's the king of swords. It only looks at the bigger picture. It knows what, what needs to happen, what is going to happen, but how it will unfold. The king of swords doesn't look at those things. It only looks at, okay, this is what I want. This is what 
the result is what I, how I want it to be. So I'm very focused and I'm taking action and I'm moving forward with that what I want. What kind of obstacles comes in its way or how long it will take to process certain things? It doesn't look like that. It, it doesn't look at those things. It's kind of like only saying, okay, within five years, I want to accomplish this. Within three months, I want to accomplish that. And by putting a time onto it, you kind of like know when it's like time to take action. But what comes out of it, you have to have patience. You are not in charge of that part. You are only in charge of the action taking, of the releasing and things unfolding on its own. So that is this month for you guys when it comes to the month of February is asking of you to uh, not hold on too tight on how you want this puzzle piece to come together, but more as this is the box. This is how it looks like. And how I will start this puzzle is up to the creator of all creator. You know, have patience while unfolding this puzzle. Because I'm really getting like a puzzle piece of thousand pieces. Of course, we all start with the corners. You have to kind of like look for the corners first, you know. The only thing you know is how the image looks like. And then you will fill it in. So you start with the corners and the edges. And then you slowly work your way in. And that's a great message for you guys because that is also the thing. Start with the corners and have patience with the puzzle piece. You know, don't be like, oh, I have to finish it within an hour. Like really, it's something for you to relax with it, not feel anxious with it, you know. So that's the thing with you guys in the month of February. See February month as, as a piece of a puzzle. And you are figuring out how the image that you want your February month to be will be. You have 28 days. Okay, you have 28 days to put it together. You don't have to rush it. Just plan and strategize how many hours do you want to attain to certain things kind of a way but this lovely lovely connection happening let's see for the weeks uh, for the first the second the third and the fourth week that's the first what can you expect let's see this is the second That's the third. That's the fourth. Underneath the deck, you have the chariot moving forward, but slow and steady. And not only that, sideways. <laughs> it's sideways. So you are not going directly to your destination. There is a lot that you are going to learn along the way when it comes to the month of February. So for the first week, you have the hanged man. Honey, the hanged man together with the patience card is saying like really don't go too fast. The chariot is also talking about it. Do you know why? There is something that you will have a clarity of and because of that clarity, you will have a release looking at the judgment card also it's kind of like oh wow i finally get it i finally get it so really you guys your spiritual team is saying in the first week of february have patience with yourself keep things slowly because there is something that you need to learn about this in the first week, there is a aha moment that you will have. And with that moment, you can take action to the next thing. But first, you need to kind of like see things different. You might have a way of, as I said, looking at the Four of Pentacles, like holding, oh, it must be go this way. It must be like this. Your guys, your spiritual team is saying, no, release, release, let go. Let go and only take action according to um, the bigger picture, but not how. Like, for example, in the bigger picture, you might see yourself in France. You'd be like, oh, I'm going to France. Oui, oui, omelette du fromage, you know. And But here's the thing. 
You can go by car, you can go by plane, you can go by train, you can go by bicycle, you can go by foot. Don't worry about how you get there. You will get there. Just take action to start going there. You will get the idea what to do next. Maybe you will grab your bicycle, ride to the train station. From the train station, ride to the, the airplane. From the airplane, grab you to the plane to France. You know, from France, you grab a taxi. That's the car to your hotel. Guess what? You you just got them all because you walked your ass also that there. So, so you see how it all can actually become one. So don't hold on too tight on, no, I'm going by the plane. That's it. I will not do nothing else. Plane. It's the plane. Like, really? It can also be the boat. We can also grab the boat. What do you want? What do you want? Kind of a way. So please do not. It's a metaphor, this situation right here. But what I'm trying to say is that do not stay stuck on it must be this way in the first week. It must go this way. So in the second week, you have the sun, honey. Things looking good. Oh, you have lots of higher canna though. <laughs> so things looking good. Not, not that it is something bad, but but yeah. With the sun in the second uh, week, you feeling yourself. I do think it's because of you finally know something, how to go next, what to do next. So in the third week, something looking good. It's like you are going to, you are in the spotlight, y'all. People are seeing you. And they like what they are seeing. You have a goal. Looking at how the sun card is so focused to move forward. And you guys, your spiritual team is helping you along, along the way. You have a drive. That's the Aries energy also. Together with this uh, life is speeding up. You guys are taking action. The second week, take action. Because it is a fire sign. Aries is also a fire sign. So take action. Move forward. In the third week, you have the two of swords. Here is where you need to have patience though. Here is where you, you kind of like need to once again pull back. Be like, okay, wait a minute. I have a choice to make. What will I do? Go left or go right? Kind of a situation so it's asking of you to listen well to your intuition listen well to your guys your spiritual theme and then take action but do it patiently look at the bigger picture the third week do not take action to take action think about it if i take that action what will it lead me kind of a way you know because you have this is like okay um now that i have grab all the corners and the edges of the puzzle i am now going in but which side do i begin first the left side or the right side kind of a way so it's giving me that energy that one way or the other you will finish the puzzle but which with what is better what is better kind of a way listen well to your gut feeling in the third week and then for the fourth week, you have the page of pentacles. So here, once again, slow and steady, moving forward. Hosanna, Hosanna. I don't know why, but I'm hearing that. It's because of the leaf. <laughs> the leaves that he is holding. Like, I do think here on the fourth week, you will have a judgment uh, day kind of a moment. A, a, a freedom kind of a moment. It's giving me that. Like a release, a finally a release. Some of you may be coming in contact with a very anonymous person. So when it comes to career, career, pension, part-time job, entrepreneurs, that's these cards. You have Pisces, sen sensitus, sensitus, sensitus. Sensitize, sensitize, yeah, sensitize. There, then you also have a flow, that's definitely Pisces, together with temperance, patience. When it comes to your career, have patience, yeah. <laughs> career, uh, pension, uh, 
entrepreneurship, have patience. Um, I do see that this, the fire element is really speaking for you guys. Looking at you have temperance, you have the sun and you have Aries. So action taking, good thing. But keep things in balance and do not... Because looking at the career and flow card, your dharma is when everything goes effortlessly. And looking how Pisces has one fish swimming uh, this way and one fish swimming that way, you need to come to realize that if something is going very difficult when it comes to your career, it's you should not be there. You need to take the other side, you know, looking at the two of source also, like that is something of a clarity you need to have that if it doesn't go smoothly, it's not where you should be, you know. So maybe you have something, you are working on a project and you cannot come to the solution, not come to the solution. Retreat. Take a moment, step back, look at the bigger picture. Why don't you get it? And if you don't get it, maybe another person can get it because they will look at it in a different way. So sometimes we need to ask another person to look at a situation from afar to see why isn't it working for you. So maybe he you can ask for help, but understand that when things are getting frustrated, have patience with yourself, keep things in balance and go with the Dharma. If things are going smoothly, smooth, very smooth, that's good. That's good. You know, sometimes we, we are scared when things are going so good because we often in our mind be like, that's weird. Why is it going so effortlessly? Well, that is something that is normal. But in our mind, we think that for everything, it must come with a struggle and it must come with determination. It must come like, I don't know, but a few days ago, I was listening to a podcast and a, a, a female was talking about how she was in a very violent relationship. And I was thinking like, why is it that we kind of like think that violent to to kind of like say it's violent it really you have to have scars to show like people are taking it too far like a violent is when your soul or your um, your energy or whatever it is don't feel well, but we hold on to it until we have scars to prove that we are in a violent situation. Then we let go. Like, why do we do that? Why do we want to have the battle scars before we can say, yes, I definitely was in a violent situation, you know? And and not only that, because it's kind of like people, you, you kind of like think you can hold on to it. That can be also with your career that you be like, okay, no, I can yet still hold on to it. You know, I can yet still hold on to it while it's not for your well-being so really if something isn't going your way if something isn't going with the flow if something is going against the stream it's not for you life shouldn't be so difficult we we think because we've been programmed to think that life should be like that but it's not so let's go for love when it comes to love, if you're looking, searching, wondering, this is then what this is, or you already are in a relationship, you have Festa Heart. Together with a Fate. And your tarot card, you have judgment in reverse. Honey, your cards are kind of like coming back. Temperance, patience. Judgment, judgment so it's given me that um really when it comes to love for you guys um have faith have faith in love have faith in if you want a relationship that it will come but what is it that you want what is it that your heart really yearned for because you can have it is what you guys your spiritual team is saying by having faith 
of that. You know, that's the festa, that's the heart. It's like, okay, instead of settling, like really, you can have all your wishes and dreams that you really wanted. Um, if that, if you are in a relationship, looking, searching, wondering, whatever have you, you can have what you want. And it's time for you to get what you want. And it's time for you to have faith and see that the time has come for you to get it, to have it. You know, so um, when it comes to your tea leaves, you have staff, you will be taken care of in difficult time. Yes. Together with the month March, uh, then you have Peacock. Be aware of great pride. Watch out for that. And you also have valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Honey, success is there for you. And this peacock, that's the sun card. So you will be in the spotlight, but watch out that you may not be like, honey, I'm it. This is totally a Leo energy. Not only that, you're Sagittarius and Aries. Like, it's all fire sign, y'all. So really watch out for that. Then you also have a wishbone. A wish is granted. I mean... You cannot be mad. It's because you're lucky. That is why. And then you also have the month September. And your last one, you have period of prosperity and abundance. Honey, of course you will be cocky. I mean, if this is something, people will help you. In the month March and the month September is very important. You will have prosperity and abundance. Like, there is a great thing. Your wish is going to come through. I mean... I would walk next to my shoes, <laughs> be like, yours. but, but I'm telling you though, like, do not hold too tight on this idea because we are moving. You have to take action if you want this. And once you have it, stay humble <laughs> and stay a little humble. Okay. Count your blessing. Be happy. Be thankful, but stay a little bit humble. That being said, my lovely, beautiful pal. Sorry. I do hope I could have helped you guys. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe. And have a beautiful, wonderful February month. Bye-bye. So, my lovely, beautiful pal, for you guys have chosen the Crow Spirit, Co-Create with Spirit as your main card. Um, this is uh, entrepreneur, um, pension, career, side job, and this is love. We will take a look later um, at this card. But first, let's take a look at the main energy for you guys when it comes to the month of February. And we will also take a look at every week what kind of energy can you expect. I will not take these cards in reverse. You have the Five of Cups together with the Emperor together with the King of Pentacles and then you also have Men Holding Coins Together with the masculine, hmm, together with the Capricorn, achieve and then co-create with spirit. Love, let me tell you something. Look at your cards. Look at your cards. Lots of cards are masculine. Only masculine energy. So this is telling me if you are a female, even if you are a female, be like, no, I don't do masculine, you know, kind of a situation. I'm talking about the energy of the masculinity, the masculine energy, the month of February. You might come in contact with lots of male people, male friends. Maybe if you are a male or you identify yourself as a male, you may come in contact with somebody of the same sex, same gender, same identity of the masculine, the male figure kind of a situation is what I'm getting. Male is definitely important. Now, here's the thing. Some males 
are not in balance. They are toxic male kind of energy. This emperor is giving me a toxic male. It, this emperor because these cars, this deck come with other cars also and I have left them all in. Why? Because you have two emperor. One is more as a more in balanced kind of energy of a mess uh, of a masculine emperor and this one is kind of like not in balance, mischievous. You see how he has everybody on a leash? He is in power. He doesn't look at what you want and always this card is giving me um, that is here in the Netherlands. If some of you didn't know, uh, I live in the Netherlands, but I'm from the Caribbean, Curaçao. Um, but this in the Netherlands, you have a kind of a system that if you want to borrow money, you will always see a warning sign i will try to put it here somewhere for you guys and that sign always kind of like warns you that if you take out a loan you will be stuck on it and that if you look at the sign and you look at this emperor it always gives me that that it will you will be stuck on it you know and then people are in power of you you are going to work to work for that house that you want to buy or that you have bought or you are going to work to pay off that car that you had bought you know so you are doing it because you have to do it otherwise you are not going to that isn't for you the house isn't yours until you pay it off the car isn't yours until you pay it off and it will decrease in value also you know so it's giving me that kind of uh, energy of somebody is in power over you somebody has has you on a leash now if you look at the rest of this masculine energy it's giving me more of somebody more in balance like this is the mischievous thing situation that's happening like you can remain in another person's power by thinking of the things that you have lost the things that that had happened how people have been treat you oh oh my god you know how could people be like this kind of a situation or you can look at the brighter side of things and think like the king of pentacles take some action on your own Climb that mountain, put that foundation on your own. So, be a boss. That house that you have bought, why did you buy it? Like, sell it within a year for a price much higher or something like that. Or, you know, invest in something that will bring you money back instead of losing money with it. I'm... I'm not here. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm do. I'm not, you know, but what I'm trying to say to you guys is instead of looking at the lost, look at the good thing. Stop focusing on this mischievous person, focusing on the ones that are in balance, the ones that are a, a, a good masculine energy instead of the negative. And that is the king of pentacles um, for you guys. Because the king of pentacles is looking at the emperor, the, 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 the animal, is looking at the emperor's people be like, that you guys yet still want that. You have a free choice. You can change things up. But you, you might be mesmerized in the month of February by titles, by stuff that you have. You know, um, um, back in the days, I, I, I am, I'm not a title person. If you meet me personally, personally, nobody like really, mm, I don't like it when people come to me and be like, oh, I am a this and a that. I do this. What do you do for? Uh, no, I, I do nothing. Nothing. That's what I do. You know, because I am not my job. I am not my career. I am not get to know me. Get to know who I am. My energy is more, guess what? Venus in Pisces. 
tropical, uh, Vedic astrology. Venus in Pisces. If you look at Vedic astrology, let me know. Do you have Venus in Pisces? Or you may look at tropical. Let me know where is your Venus. When you have Venus in Pisces, y'all, yeah, titles, people with titles, I don't look at that. <laughs> like, tell me your title. Oh, so you're, you're the king? Guess what? I'm the empress then. <laughs> you know, not to say that, that no, you shit, I shit, we shit. So, and don't get me wrong. Once you have the title, of course, you may express yourself as in, I'm proud that I have become the king. I am proud that I am a YouTuber. I am proud that I am a, a, a life coach, a spiritual coach. I am proud of being that, you know, but it's not who I am. I do not do this 24 hours, y'all. Even though it seems like it sometimes in my life. But it is like that. Like really get to know me. So really what I'm trying to say is that in at this moment in the month of February, do not be the toxic masculinity of this is who I am. I am this. I am that. Because you will be captured by system. Oh, I am a doctor, this, this and that, and I have a big house, did that. But as the doctors, as the people that are talking about, let me let me give you something why I don't like that. Because let me tell you something. I can stand next to a person that is in power. This is me or this is you. Okay, let's let, keep me out of this situation. Somebody, like somebody that um, may not have the titles and another person has the title those two persons stand next to each other which one do you think is more free than the other because this one might have a big house big car big stuff but has to pay a lot to pay off all of those things where this person right here may only have monthly that it has to pay off, um, pay the housing and stuff like that. And doesn't have debt, doesn't have a car, doesn't have things that has to be like, oh, I'm stuck to it, so I have to pay for it. You know, you can be whomever, or whatever, but the product is what I'm trying to tell you guys. The product is keeping you, the wanting of material things might keep you down. While you can climb the mountain free as you are and become something so fruitful, so abundant, but some people want to have the products first and then to feel good as if they are on top of the world. But they do not want to climb that mountain. You guys, Saturn is ruling very much in your guys' chart. And let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell Saturn, definitely Saturn. Like, this is all Earth signs. This Capricorn is Saturn ruled. The Emperor is Aries ruled. Aries is maybe the drive of wanting the thing of passion, the masculinity. Oh, I have to have that. But Saturn is an energy of, no, I have to climb that mountain before I go out and buy that stuff. Before I let people see I am it. I need to work for it, to achieve it, to get it, and then... This is this is this is Saturn. This is Earth sign. So this is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Virgo don't play that neither. Virgo be like, no, it doesn't sound convenient to me. So really, in the month of um, in the month of February, masculine energy is very important for you guys. The taking action. But what do I get with that? Is do not take action and buy stuff. To feel worthy of it. Or maybe you will buy stuff. And you will feel in a state of loss. Because of it. Because now you are stuck on somebody in power. Instead of being in yourself in power. So you guys have two choices. Or you let somebody rules you. Or you take action. And, and 
kind of like a rule yourself, you know? So that's, that's, that's February for you, but definitely a masculine energy, definitely earth sign. So, and fire sign. So that's Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, and the earth sign is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They don't play. They don't play. The, the fire signs, you need to watch out for that. The earth sign is like, no, we plan. We strategic. We want fruitfulness. We are using our mind, you know. We, we, we want that abundance. We know we can get that abundance. Don't get us wrong kind of a situation. It's what the earth sign will say. But they are doing it strategically, slowly, in process, you know. And not like, let's go get it. And then we will take a look how we will pay it off. Make it make sense. Like everybody do that nowadays. <laughs> You know, but that's what, what this situation is. So do not buy stuff that you don't need in the month of February. Do not go get yourself a loan if you are not willing to work for it. And maybe for some of you, if you don't need that car, if you don't need whatever that is, work for it first and then buy it kind of a situation instead of go ahead and ask for a loan so you can buy it and then have to work for it some people don't have that patience y'all so yeah let's take a look for the weeks of the month so let's see for the first week that's the first the first week the second week and the third and the fourth what can you expect this is the second, third, fourth. Underneath the deck, nine of cups, wish coming true. So there is a wish being fulfilled, but <laughs> I mean, the result of that wish, we will see if it is something good or not, but there is definitely a wish coming true. So for the first week, you have the full Taking a leap, taking action, new start, new beginning. So in the first week, you guys might take some action that you'll be like, okay, I'm going to go and do. I'm a leap. I'm going to go. That's the masculine energy also. So that's a great thing um, for you guys when it comes to the first week. So some of you might start something, go ahead, do something. There is a new beginning happening. And you guys, your spiritual team is really... Um, curious what you're gonna do how it's gonna happen how it will unfold can you handle how it will unfold kind of a situation but the action of putting yourself out there is a great thing that you are doing that pack light is what i'm getting pack definitely light in the second week you have the um, black newman so the black newman is the extra card in this tarot deck and it speaks of the ending of putting a person or a people or a situation on the pedestal you know we used to actually have gods and goddesses as animals and now we are worshiping humans so we have this these uh newmans they know that the show is over and do you know what i hear the show is over now rihanna like the curtains are closing you know so it's giving that they know they know that the time has come that the humans doesn't look for them to be the newmans you know and let me tell you something funny in another pile, I am using right now the Newman Tarot, but while I'm using it, I have a whole situation looking at me right now also, like they, like, I always look outside of the windows and I I look at nature. I look at the Newmans, you know, and there are crows, not crows, but the family of a crows. I don't know how it's called in English. The, the little black birds kind of a situation. They are like this. Crows are like this, you know, and raven are like this. And then you have the little ones, the family. Of them. They, are, they are in the tree looking at me like you, you, you know, so, so. Look at the Newmans. Look at the Newmans. Like they speak. Looking at the crow spirit also. Co-create with spirit. I mean, 
looking at how certain things must end right now for you, looking in the second week, it's an acceptance. An acceptance of, okay, you are not putting something or someone or a situation on top of the pedestal anymore. Like maybe you were a person that was looking at the emperor and be like, oh my God, I have to pay that man or I have to pay that woman. Oh my God, once again this month. You might now be like, you know what? Instead of thinking you are the boss, I am the boss. Becoming the king of pentacles. Be like, oh, you are ending with some of you maybe have pay off a debt. Great. I'm very proud. I mean, that's the... I don't like debts, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I get anxious for that, you know? So uh, really, maybe you have pay off a debt, you know? And let me tell you, that's the... Oh, ah, I hate that feeling. Honey, you don't want that, you know? Like, everybody has it. That's the most fun stuff of it all. Everybody has it. Until you come to realize you don't have to have it. That's the second week for you guys. You know, that you come to realize that whomever, whatever that you put on the pedestal or that you were looking at and be like, oh, I have to this, I have to that. You are getting that away. And for some of you, something is definitely ending and you are okay. You are okay with this ending. Looking at the fool in the first week, honey, you, 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 you was gone before they told you it's ending. <laughs> So in the third week, you have the six of cups in reverse. Some of you, you are ending with the past. Maybe a lover or something. There is some kind of a negative masculine energy that is getting... Keep in mind, no gender specific, as I already said. You know, but that you are getting rid of the negative one and go for the positive one. Because there is definitely a dynamic of negative, negative, positive kind of a way, as I already explained. So in the third week, you are ending with people, situation from the past. You guys be like a domino effect. What is happening? You be like, I'm going to go and I will end this with people, with situation, with the past. I'm going to go. And then the fourth week, you have the king of swords. You be the boss. Oh, you guys are going to become cold, man. Once again, a masculine energy. You be so in your power. You be so in your power. Mm. I don't know, but this is this is boss mentality. I looking at your cards. Whatever that was done in the past. Whatever that you've been through, that you had to answer to another person, that you were stuck on a situation, it's over. February month, it will be over. Everything from the past that was a heartache, a pain, a, 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 a consistency of feeling not, like, oh my God, why? Over. The moment you decide, I'm going to go, and then at the fourth week, you will be the boss of this whole situation. Like this is air sign. So Aquarius, Libra and Gemini. They don't give a. They don't give a. You know. You have three elements really speaking in your cards. Three elements. Fire, earth and air. I love it. I love it. And then looking at the nine of cups underneath the deck, it's giving me a wish coming through. This is so, I'm so proud of you guys. February month is the month that you come to realize that you don't need certain things to feel a type of way. That you are the boss. You are your own person. You don't need another. It's like really a great imbalanced masculine energy. Taking action to go and do to become who you need to become for you to achieve the things you need to achieve. Instead of first get, then work for it. Because we've been living in a, a world that's so totally of the wanting of stuff that people, people will even go into debt to get a pair of shoes. I have never understood that. 
Never. I have never. No, no. I cannot say that my debt is because I have a car, I have a house or no, that's liability. I don't do that. I don't play that, you know? So I'll be like, no, but there are people in my surroundings. Listen, I had to learn my lesson the hard way. My debts are from things that actually is kind of like that, you know, but depth is depth. One way you can put a ribbon on it, it remains a depth. <laughs> One way or the other, but I could never understand people that be like, okay, I'm gonna buy myself a whole outfit and I will put it on a depth and I will pay for it a month later. I'll be like, but how do you know that you, I mean, that's the great faith you have in the world. That's the great faith to have, actually. But it's like, but you have already given out your income then. I can never understand it. Because before that income will come and that income will go, that means you have never had held that money in your hand. Be like, this is mine. No, because you have already spent it last month. I, I never, I, let, let me know. <laughs> Because right now, my mind is going like a hamster. Like, oh my God, this is not good. I have to do this. I have to do that. So let me know. Are you guys the same as me? That you be like, I don't know. Would you? Are you a person that will buy stuff? Uh, listen. I'm talking about food. I'm not talking about food and necessary things. Because if you don't have food, you better go into the store and buy yourself a bread and a meal. I'm Listen, I'm that type of a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a woman. That the necessary things to stay alive, like paying my house, paying the bills for electricity and stuff, and those are the necessary things. For those things, I will go into debt just so I can pay them. But I will not go buy myself a car if I cannot be like, here it is, in cash. Or <laughs> like that. Bushy. Bushy problems. You know, but what I'm getting for you guys in the month of April, um, honey, February, is you are going to change that also. Instead of um, staying stuck by something that was done in the past, because some of you, like, this has been done to you, that you are stuck on debts or a person or a situation, it's ending. I'm very happy for you guys. It's ending. And you are going to become the own boss of your own situation, working for the good thing, good masculine energy, very imbalanced masculine energy, instead of to answer to other people kind of a way. This emperor, I don't like this emperor. This emperor is giving me a type of a feel. This emperor always giving me an authority figure. And I don't like those people. <laughs> You guys be like, Noraim, it seems like this pal is all triggers for you. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Like, no, I don't. Uh, listen, I don't like people kind of like telling me what I should do. Let me know. Are you guys the same as me? Or am I the only one that's like this? Let me know. Then I have a problem, y'all. <laughs> so for your career and for um, pension or side job or entrepreneurship, this is then your cards. You have Imum Kuli. This is the fourth house. Together with isolation. Oh, some of you are going to go inside. And together with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Some of you are going to work at home. Or in a place where you are alone. There are no offering coming in. Is what I'm getting. Uh, or it will take very long before the offers comes in. Uh, lots of you will go work at home. In this situation. At home or in a closed place. But definitely at home. You know, um, you are going to be alone when you work for some of you. It's kind of like, okay, you have to do this on your own. Looking at your cards, I definitely see do it on your own. Looking at the fool, do it on your own. Go ahead, 
work on your own. Like you need to kind of like um, put yourself in uh, order. Like the emperor back in the days before we had the whole 2020 situation going till 2022 and stuff. You know, before we had that, we, we go to an office and you will work in the office and then you will have the manager, then the boss, kind of a way looking at you. Are you doing your work good? Kind of a way like the emperor. But now you kind of like have to show them that, no, I can do it on my own. I don't need you to look at me. So for some of you, there is an ending to a company or a boss, maybe your manager or something that is being the boss over you will be like okay do it your own i'm gone you know you don't have to go to work we are working from home nowadays i will see you on the zoom meeting kind of a situation so you don't have to have a um uh how do you call it a person that is watching over you if you are um yet still busy from nine to five behind the desk kind of a situation looking at this emperor so it's like no maybe as i said the person in uh, in, in in charge of you which job is quitting it might be for some of you also that you are quitting your job you know that you are at home um if you are with pension if you are going with pension, from being the boss, from having everybody on a leash, you and being um, appreciated by everybody, looking at the second week, it's like your time is up. They are not looking up to you anymore. They don't have to come to you for answers because your time is up. Whatever you have started in the past, you have to go start something new now because it's time for your pension. You know, you are going at home. You are going to work at home or going to do something of craft at home. That, but you, in the fourth week, you have already have a great idea what to do next. This is something of building from the ground up and working for it. Instead of working for a person, you are going to work for yourself or do something that you like and love for yourself. That is for some of you when it comes to career, pension, or um, entrepreneurship. Now, when it comes to love, uh, looking, searching, wondering, love, or you already have your love, you have the 10th house authority. Listen, I don't know where Saturn is transiting in your chart, but Saturn in the month of February is very important. Very important in your chart, okay? And then you also have peace. Together with the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my, my. Listen, the earth sign, the earth sign, I bet you it's a Capricorn. A Capricorn. A Capricorn person will come for some of you when it comes, or you are the Capricorn person, when it comes to your home, uh, to your love life, and that will bring beautiful things when it comes to love is if you guys start a relationship not to say you have to start a relationship but if that relationship starts it will be for long run because this person or this situation will be for lineage to come you guys are building for this love it is not something that will end right away mm -mm, let me tell you not only that venus will meet with saturn this month in the month of February. And if you look at um, if you look at Ferric, then you know it is in the sign that Saturn rules. So it's like, oh, <laughs> this is gonna be it. <laughs> this is gonna be it for a long time when it comes to love. So uh, if some of you, if you wanna build something when it comes to love, it will be peaceful, it will be lovely. Everybody works hard for to achieve this situation. Everybody is like really like, okay, this is something that we want to do. It's kind of like more a business transaction though than love. I'm not going to lie. It feels like more a business transaction. Like really some of you may get married. You know, it's like, okay, this is it. This is what we do. 
you know, that kind of situation. So you have for your tea leaves uh, something important such as a new job or a race back. Well, that's the new beginning. <laughs> and then you also have money pet. A pet with money is waiting for you to find it. Yes. Let that be great because you can pay off all your debts and become your own boss. I don't know why. Okay. L leave me alone. I don't know why. I don't know because I'm seeing the whole time debts. Some of you be like, Norama, we ain't got that. Child, you're good. I like that. If you don't have depths, ah, you're great. <laughs> you're great. You're great. <laughs> so then you also have seahorse, family matters. So some of you will have something to do with family. Maybe you are going to a lovely situation when it comes to love. And then you have horseshoe, good luck. Oh, it's a good thing. I, I'm, I don't know, but this tea leaves is good for everyone. <laughs> and then you also have, uh, let me not talk too soon because you yet still have a lot to go. Uh, older man, dealing or relationship with an older man. Now, this situation right here might be that Saturn. Maybe you are going in a relationship with somebody older than you. Maybe you will, you are the masculine person or the masculine energy, no gender specific, that is going with pension as the older man, you know, or you are ending situation with uh, a person like the emperor, because the emperor is the father figure also. That's also Saturn. Saturn is kind of like the father, the old grumpy father, you know, that wants things to go like this. So it might be also that, but... An older man is very important for you guys in the month of um, February. Then you have mm, Bird Perch, waiting for news package, leather. And then you also have a rainbow. The most difficult part of your situation is over. Yes. You guys, let me, let me tell you. As I said, you are going from... Not have to have to become your own. This is some energy that is very familiar to me of thinking, oh my God, I have to continue answer to that person. Oh my God, I have to continue obeying that person. Oh my God, I have to continue. My life the, is being ruled by that person to then become like, no, bitch, I'm the boss category <laughs> kind of a situation. And then claiming your power, releasing yourself of other people or people that were kind of like not for you and leaping and going taking action that's why that masculine energy the 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 the, the healthy masculine energy to take action to go and do and something for yourself build something for yourself that is why you guys your spiritual team is saying co-create with spirit because this ain't it yeah this is putting as i said here we were putting uh, uh, animals on the platform but now you might have put another person on this platform as your idol you know um be be like okay this is who I have to obey to. This is who is giving me food. This is who has had bought me that car. This is this is the money. Maybe you have put money on that pedal stool. Like you'd be like, oh, money is everything. Since I continue talking about money, like the energy of the earth and the emperor is strong, yeah. You know? So maybe that is it. And you guys spiritual team is saying, like, no, we are ending that. You will have your own. And you need to create, do something with your own for for a minute now. Okay. So instead of going to an office or listen to another person you are it so go leap and go do you and work with them to create this that being said i do hope i could have helped you guys my lovely beautiful pal for don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe and i will see you in another reading of mine bye bye